Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. So I did a video yesterday uh, with my Femi Pam 2, which I've only had for about four or five days. But so far, I've absolutely loved this device. It's brilliant. It's uh, instead of having a gimbal like the DJI Ronin SC, that's a big chunky piece of gear and a camera or a camcorder. I mean, it's a, you know, it's a sacrifice. You're going to lose a lot of quality or some quality at least. But uh, to have something like this, you can just slot in and out of your pocket like the DJI Osmo Pocket and the Pocket 2 has been absolutely amazing. So what I did yesterday was just kind of went through my gripping box and uh, took a look at all the different things you can do if you want to set up rigs uh, with this. So I showed the Ulanzi MT34, which I explained there's only a quarter inch at the bottom here. There's nothing on this side. There is an aftermarket part, but out of the box, it's just this is a this is a 3.5 mil uh, microphone jack. So uh, what I explained was you can use a selfie stick or you can use a monopod with a 90 degree turn on it, uh, a little adapter like a ball bearing that'll lock off at 90 degrees and that will give you your ability to use this on the kind of horizontal plane. So that was, so I've got a few options ready to go for the shoot and one thing I realized this morning I forgot was my trusty L bracket, not a very sophisticated piece of gear but if you have a camcorder uh, without any cold shoes like the Canon Vixia HFR800 then uh, these are really useful because you can screw in the camcorder here and you've got a couple of cold shoes that's what I bought this for. Um, so I'm going to just do the same thing as I did before just for demonstration purposes I've just grabbed the light this one is slightly bigger than the one I demoed with yesterday it's actually an RGB light from Ulanzi if it has any battery it doesn't have any battery uh, if it did have any battery it would be lighting up in some color now uh, this guy needs a charge. Okay, anyway, that's my light and uh, let me just grab the same microphone, the Saramonic Cam Mic Plus. Uh, so a bit, bit large in respect to the size of the gimbal, but should be good enough to demo. So there's a little screw here and one option would be as follows. So with the Femi Pam 2, there's a little monitor screen on the front, right? So what I could do is screw in here. Now I realize I'm a uh, this is out of frame what I'm doing, but I'm just going to bring it up in a second here. So I've just screwed the Femi Pam 2 into my L bracket. It's now pretty secure. And what I could do is, let's say I wanted to add, let's do microphone on top. Microphone on top. And now I just need to lock this guy down. This one's a little bit finicky. I think it's a, a little bit damaged, the shoe adapter on this thing. I think I might need to push this in. Okay, it's just about holding. If this wasn't, this is a little bit buggy because of the microphone, but nothing, uh, nothing now. So you'd probably need to avoid this pulling a kind of more generous 3.5 mil, but that's in, uh, even though this looks a little bit off visually. I'm just gonna turn this on again by holding the power button. Now the Femi is on and the uh, camera is finding its uh, natural position. And now I've got a mic and Femi and what I can do, of course, is simply add a, a light onto the, this is a little bit stiff. I'm just going to have to undo this uh, cold to a small bit here. There we go. And I'm just going to do this off frame again, but I'm just screwing in the light to the other cold shoe fitting on this L bracket. And waiting for that to be secure. This, uh, that you might've just heard the camera falling off here. Um, so let me just put this guy back. Camera, microphone is in. And there we go. This is the uh, rig with the L bracket, the lights coming off to the side, uh, microphones facing out and the Femi is recording in the center. And of course I can just loosen up the screw and just slide this along the horizontal uh, to either to lock it into any position I want. You could go for another approach with this. I'm just going to turn off the Femi. Second approach would be to do something like this to attempt to get the Femi facing forwards and to just turn around your other accessories. Um, again, if you had a 90 degree bracket, you could swivel the light around this way and just rotate the camera, but that wouldn't be as clean. So anyway, that's the L bracket setup for the Femi Pan 2.